before you went into prison, you obviously had beautiful yachts and private planes and all that kind of thing. Which of those things do you still have? Well, I have beautiful... I, I fly private often, right? On your own plane? I, no, I, I charter a yeah. plane, which is getting prohibitively expensive, <laughs> by the way, which is <laughs> terrible. You know, that's what I love. The Trump come back and lower prices for gas would be a really good thing. We'll come to him. Yeah, um, I'm a fan, you know, not of all things, but generally yeah. speaking, big fan. Right? Um, um, I would never buy a yacht again. I was so happy when the one I had sank. It was like the great, I was so happy. Like, I didn't plan it out, but when it was sick, I was like, yes, Lloyd's of London, you know? <laughs> right? I worked at Lloyd's. Right? My like, first year of my working yeah. career, I had to help a mate out. I worked as, on one of the underwriting syndicates. Yeah. So I would have been one of those guys paying you all that money for your yacht. As there it you go, down. right? I got a check for like $9 million the day it said. A few days later, they showed up. They're like, usually we investigate these things, but you know what? No one will be stupid enough to go on the boat themselves into a storm. Like, mm. you just, just, here's a check and don't ever ask us to insure you again, basically. They pay <laughs> me right away, right? So Lloyd's was pretty good to so me. So no boat, but you, you, you charter private Charter private. I, listen, I'm very... Nice car? Very, yeah, but I, I do... What do you drive? A Mercedes. Mercedes and my wife has got an Aston Martin. Which one? Uh, she's oh, got the I've truck, the DBX, oh. and I have the uh, AMG, the, the, the GT Turbo, whatever it is, AMG, right? But, I'm an Aston Martin but, guy. So but, but cars, it's interesting. When I was in my 20s and 30s, I just loved cars. Mm. I just it meant everything to me. What car I drive. I, I honestly never even... Now you're on comfort. I never drive, even. Like, mm. I'll, I'll, I'll go, go take a, a, an Uber or something, you know, just it's easy, drive. Yeah. It's so much easier, and I can just relax in the back seat. So, you know, all the, a lot of the urges I had of how I define myself as a man, so to speak... Very different than the way I do today. Do you ever get urges to just go and take loads of quaaludes and behave disgracefully? Well, yeah, but quaaludes, yeah. Not cocaine, but mm. quaaludes were amazing. Thankfully, they're illegal, and you can't find them anywhere. Mm. Like, thank God, because they're too good, you know? But if you have one, you know, we can go after you. Know? <laughs> <laughs> I do not, just for the record, I do not have any Grelly. That's the one drug, you know, like, I, and, and people say, listen, I'm just kidding, but a little bit. Mm. But they, they were amazing. You're not kidding. Yes, thank God that you can't find them. They were just so great that, you know, very difficult to resist. So your desires can't be quenched. Oh, you know, again. You're probably kidding. Anyway. Yeah, you know, listen, I, I drink a little bit here and there. Mm. Don't use drugs. Uh, the things that make sense in your 20s and 30s don't make sense. You know, it gets a bit more difficult to recover. When you didn't have your liberty, what was the thing you missed most about? Liberty, freedom, freedom. Just being literally being able to. Was it were there specific things that when you not, begin, not, when you when, when you came out, what were the things you most wanted to do again? First thing I did was I ate a cheeseburger. Mm. I missed cheeseburgers desperately, right? But I mean, you know, it, it, it's very when you're in jail, and I was not in a terrible jail. Mm. It wasn't like I had to worry about you know going into the shower and getting in the shower. It wasn't like that. Okay, it was it was a, a minimum security. But jail's jail. You know, you have no freedom, you can't do what you want to do, and there's something about that that can be very suffocating. Now, the way I got around that was just engrossing myself and learning how to write, mm. and that passed the time very quickly, and I worked out a lot, got kept in shape. But other than that, just the entire... This, this, it's, it's hard to explain, because, you know, just something about not having freedom, mm. not being able to do what you want to do when you want to do it, um, is, 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 is suffocating, and it can be very... For most people... It, it can break them. You know, for me, I was able to turn that into energy to write and, and ended up really reinventing an entirely new life.